In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get customers and money in my restaurant. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on the Beef Play channel. And today, guys, we are going to be showing you how to get customers and money very, very quick on the new my restaurant so let's get into it so the first thing you want to do obviously when you start the game you want to play some chairs down to be able to get some customers so chairs and tables equals customers okay so that is the simple rule on how to get customers within the game so obviously when you're new i believe you start with one table and all you have to do is open your restaurant and you'll see there will be customers that go to your tables and then you can sit down serve them etc so that's the kind of how to get customers however if you want more and more customers you will want to get more floors more tables more stools just just more kind of stuff to be able to have stuff so basically as you can see here we have tons and tons of tables with tons and tons of chairs okay there's not really many people on this fifth floor here however it is a definitely you know you're getting more people after all and the more floors you have the more chance you get of getting the rarer customers vip customers etc so the money side of this obviously you can use uh wait, let me find them gumball machines and put tons of gumball machines all over your base and then you'll have a huge chance of a customer going past and pretty much you'll get every single customer buying a gumball from your machine so that being said let's head all the way up to floor five so floor five is definitely you know a higher up kind of halfway point of getting it so before we do continue I'm gonna put tons of gumball machines around this base over here so this is really really good okay perfect so we have our gumball machines here so because this is the half floor I want the floors above this to be able to you know come down and you know get the gumballs etc however this room is gonna be the let's say the money grinding room of the whole area so the first thing you want to do is put a chair right like so okay and then you want to repeat this process like that and do this all the way down so what this does is maximizes this whole space to be able to obviously get some more you know chairs and kind of more customers to try to maximize the profit of this area so what you want to do you just want to continue this pattern you might get confused halfway through on the pattern all you have to do is place some more chairs and then you'll see how you did it so let's place this chair like so so guys if you haven't already make sure you do drop a like subscribe leave a comment down below if you are enjoying this video we hit 11,000 subscribers today so thank you so much for this opportunity right okay so let me put this stool here and then here here and then let's put one here 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 let's get rid of this plant because it's kind of in our way at the moment okay and then let's place one here okay good 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 uh we need to put one there okay i've kind of messed up on the setup obviously you're not going to get it perfect every single time however let me just remove this but if you kind of follow that setup try placing a chair in between a chair table etc you'll be maximizing the profit because look this is only half the room and we've already technically you know got as much as how as much chairs on this floor as this floor below us so this kind of maximizes this profit on this side so let's place another couple of chairs so let's start one here all the way down uh, then we can put one there, 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 and then put one there. Okay, and then we can do the exact same over here. Let's pick that up, move this there. Okay, that's good. And then we can just keep going, like so. And then one here, one here, one here, one here. And then we can just keep doing this method all the way down like so 
You can do it as many floors as you want, but I'm only going to do one floor because I kind of want to keep everything different and kind of build different kind of stuff as well instead of just having a whole room of chairs. So it actually looks really, really good. So let's put all our tables in. So we've got lots and lots of customers already up here, more than the other floors combined. So this is really, really good progress. So if you want to gain customers, gain money really, really quick, this is your method for it. Obviously, you have to bear in mind on how many waiters you have. If you don't have enough waiters, it might not work entirely. It might be a huge delay to clear the plates, but there's enough tables in it to cover most of the area. So what we have to do, we have to kind of resort to these kind of chairs at the minute. Uh, let's put one there and we might be able to fit one in this corner. I don't think we will be though. So I'm just going to put these like so and then get another chair, place it like that all the way down. Oh, okay. That, that was a lag spike there. Okay. Let's place that down like so. Put that there. Okay, and then that, and then I think this will be the final one. So we've completed this whole entire floor with just tables and chairs. Uh, so that was over like 50 chairs or something, and like 25 benches. I'm, I'm not too sure on how many we used. However, look at this whole entire room. It's full to the brim with chairs and tables. So this is the ultimate method of being able to, you know, get money. Well, I mean, it works for me. It might not work for you. However, it this is the method how I get my money and kind of a quick pace as well. Obviously, the more people you get to buy your, let's say, other kind of stuff, so the gumball machines, that, that kind of stuff, you will be getting money like crazy. So I kind of have to have like these gumball machines on the first floor. So when they walk out the front door, that's when they kind of, you know, tip the jar and stuff like that. But I mean, at the end of the day, if they can, I mean, it, it should be able to still do the exact same process. And Okay, so some people actually did tip these machines when they did go down, so that's really, really good. So what I might do is put a bunch of these on the exact same floor and kind of have them along all the, all the side of the wall. So when they come walking out of the store here, they kind of hit one of these gumball machines. So actually, that's what I'm going to do. Let's delete some of these. So as you can see, we get some money through here. Tons of people are buying these. So let's delete this whole row over on this side. And we may be able to put some over here. So a lot of people are actually buying these. So that is definitely progress. So let's put a bunch of these along this wall. And fingers crossed, some people will come across and buy them. So that is really, really good. Let's see if anyone buys it in the next like two minutes. I don't think anyone, you know, they might, they might not. However, knowing our luck, they probably wouldn't. However, I mean, some people do actually come across and buy it. I'm not too sure if customers do come down to the bottom floor to exit. Yeah, they do. Okay, that's really, really good. Okay, so obviously this highest chance of people actually doing it it's per so i can buy as many tip jars as i want and line them up wherever and i could possibly get the whole of every every single person in the room to get you know to buy it to tip the the cafe it's that cool right so let's head all the way up to floor three let's see what's going on here so that the store's been kind of empty recently. There's not really been many people. This top floor's basically empty. I might have to uh, get this boost here to be able to get, you know, advertising campaign so we can get. So guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. I hope this method did help you. Thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. You could do it as many floors as you want, but I'm only going to do one floor because I kind of want to keep everything different and kind of build different kind of stuff as well instead of just having a whole room of chairs. So it actually looks really, really good. So let's put all our tables in. So we've got lots and lots of customers already up here, more than the other floors combined. So this is really, really good progress. So if you want to gain customers, gain money really, really quick, this is your method for it obviously 
you have to bear in mind on how many waiters you have. If you don't have enough waiters, it might not work entirely. It might be a huge delay to clear the plates, but there's enough 